Well, out of the park where I've managed, I think I find, uh, I think I found four silver coins in here and a silver ring. And uh, it's really noisy, so I got my earmuffs on uh, next to the freeway. And uh, in, out in the middle of this field, there's just like massive interference. So uh, I might hit a little bit more of that today and change up my settings a little bit. But I got a tone here I want you to listen to. Now this is an all metal uh, auto sense, so I want you to hear all the garbage that's next to this thing. Oops, I gotta unplug, I guess, a little bit more. Oof. All right. There's garbage. Garbage right here, and garbage right here, and the target's right here. That's iron right there. Okay, I'm gonna put the discrimination on. There might be something in there. I think it could be silver. One direction I get a like a you know, pretty consistent 44, 40, sometimes 45. And then the other direction, the one that's going with the iron on both sides, you get like 142s, you know, 133, 144s, 1044, 141. So let's dig this and see what we got. I, I, it could be junk, could be bleed over from the two targets on the side, but it's, it's a good enough if you were. I like it. The tone is what's here. You know, in the headphones, the tone is what I like. I don't get that. I didn't get that with the CTX. And this, I, I hear silver right there. All right, let me mark my spot real quick. Keeping my eye on it versus the camera. Okay. Now let's get rid of the, unwrap my headphone cord from my protector and let's get this thing on the wall in here. Fortunately it looks like they uh, keep the lawn mowed during the summer, or not mowed, but watered a little bit so I'm hoping that this isn't going to be too bad of a dig. Oh yeah, it's nice. Compared to everywhere else, that is like butter. supposed to get like three or four days of rain coming up so I'll soften all the ground up around Portland. All right, let's hope this is silver. With those numbers of 142 mixed in on one side, um, could be a ring if it's silver and it could be a, I don't know, I did find a ring right in this general area, so doesn't mean a whole lot. All right. Nope. Not silver. A wheat, a wheat scent, but you know, this is just uh, a good, I guess, a good example. Um, you have to be careful, you know, when your discrimination's on. Try and trust your discrimination. You know, you hear that tone, initial tone. Try and trust your discrimination, and then when you're listening to all metal, you know, don't uh, don't swing too much, too wide, too fast, and then look at the numbers because bad numbers, bad numbers, good number, you're going to hit both sides, bad numbers, bad numbers, and what you're going to look at on your screen is bad numbers. You kind of just got to go play with each little tone sometimes and find the sweet spot, you know, and then go from there. But wheat, no silver, but that's, uh, you know, I missed that the last time I was here, and this is in the same area. I picked up the silver quarter and a ring, so it's a good find.
Well, I'm back out of the park uh, about a month ago or so. I hunted with the e track. Um, I picked up two silvers right here. Kind of, I hit one and then I, then I decided to grid off this whole thing and then I hit another one. And today I'm back. I'm going to work a little bit more of the section that I haven't hunted. For a few hours, I have. Um, and I, I should have recorded this one. I really had a good feeling about this one. And it's silver. Um, I hit it this way, and it was a it was a conductive 44, um, and then I turned, and it was bouncing off and on, so I switched it over to uh, all metal auto all metal, and the signal cleaned up, and I checked those numbers, and I was getting bouncing like 143 dough and good numbers, no iron. I should have recorded this one. I had a strong feeling it was going to be silver. And it is. And what amazes me is, is that I had, this is the third silver now that I have found in this little area. It's a rosy. In this little area, right? And I, I went back over this again. I mean, I went back over it pretty good. You know, but you always miss stuff. You always miss stuff. And what amazes me is that I'm in the horseshoe pit, which... To me, is a great place to hunt to look for coins, and I'm hunting through this thinking, well, you never know. And wow, I got one. I'm just hoping there's more in here. 1963, it looks like. Sweet. I just got here. Literally, just got here. I walked. My car is right there. I walked right here. Walked up here. Gridded back and forth across these three pits, and boom can't ask for a better start well I can but huh, this is pretty good well I'm out of town today did a little road trip about an hour out of town hour plus uh, 1927 uh, school that I've hunted with Dave before and uh, that lucky fart picked up four I think four silvers that day and I picked up one Merc that day in 1917 and I got a lot of ground to cover today. A giant park, giant school, a lot of a lot of field. And um, I uh, decided I wasn't going to do too many live digs. So this might be the most of my talking right here, unless I unless I come across some really good signals that are deep. But this was a thunker. I hit this in auto, or I hit this in manual, and uh, I turned it to auto, and it was just a thunking. I had 11:47 in one direction, turned, and it was a 4:44 in the other so um and it was showing about five six inches and I'm, I'm at about six inches and um usually when they're thunking like that in auto i mean it was thunk 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 you know just and you look down at those numbers and um you see you see 1147 and good 44s and stuff like that the coin could be standing straight up on edge Could be. So, fortunately, in some places here, the ground is nice and soft. I may have just hit the coin if that's or my target. Oh, maybe there's a rock right there. Man, right on it. Should be should be able to see it. I'm trying to go all the way around it. Should come out in my hand. Oh, is that silver? Please be silver. Nope. Gosh darn it. Stinking rotten Washington tax token. Go, son of a gun. <laughs> Hate these things, man. Because they ring in just like a flipping silver quarter most of the time. But it's a token. At least it was something. Uh, Washington state sales tax token. 
This side's a little crusty. One side has the date on it. But, uh, dang. All right, well, that's why I wanted to stop. I didn't want to videotape too much because I wanted to, like I said, I got a lot of ground to cover, so I'll throw this in my little thingy of water and um, keep moving. That's a good sign. I mean, these things date back to usually the 40s and 30s. So um, somebody missed. I, I, I've actually come across some plugs out here, which has been kind of disappointing because that means that recently, and uh, some of the plugs have gone over. I've, got, I've actually redug because there was targets in them, but... Uh, the targets weren't good targets so but they sounded like they might have been good targets all right got a 1245 1845 I'm just down to it don't know what it is yet it came up uh, 1847 also but uh, So far, I've been here for already a couple hours, and I've managed only one wheat. Just a few coins here and there, a few nickels. <laughs> oh, hope that wasn't mine. Coin. Trying to go far enough away from it. Yeah, silver. Trying to get rosy. Sweet. It's a funny thing in this park. I really haven't focused too much on this end, this corner. So I decided to hit just a little bit of this and bat a beam. Ooh, spider. Spider, spider. Well, my day just got a whole lot better. I was just walking my way up to my car, which is going to take me a little bit to get to, but heading out, got silver in. Um, it wasn't iffy. I mean, I did get a 12.45 a few times in there. It was 44.45, uh, only about four inches down. I noticed that my last rosy I got was 1964, which I love getting those cutoff dates. This looks like 56. Sweet. That's number two. I got uh, 100 yards to go plus to my car. So let's find another one. All right. Well, I just got a wheat greenie right there. I don't really date yet. I got soaking for a second, but I just wanted to have an excuse to turn on my camera. I don't know if I'm going to find silver knot in the front side of the school. But the reason I'm recording is because somebody has been detecting in here before, after me. And I don't know if it's been in the, in the days past, but you can see small little plugs, which is fine, you know, that's going to happen. But the problem is, is that they're leaving their trash behind. They're digging up their trash. You can see some of the stuff is dig up. And they're leaving their trash behind. And it's not just here. I mean, I've been finding it throughout everywhere. So my thing is is if you're just digging if you're going along and digging trash and then you're digging it up and then right leaving it on the surface quit please quit this quit please quit this hobby or do it right you know if you're going to dig any trash up out of the ground take it with you i mean as best possible take it with you um there has been sometimes i've i have dug some really big pieces of trash right there's no way i can physically take them but at least put them off to the side somewhere or next to a standing up next to a tree or someplace, but not back out in the middle of the field. And that doesn't mean just dig it up and fling it to the wall. It means get yourself a bag. You know, here's my trash bag right here. My trash bag isn't very big, but I'm very selective on what I dig. So I used to dig a lot more trash, and now I dig. A little bit of trash but if you're digging a lot of trash then get yourself a big bag and carry it with you and take all your trash out because all I'm listening to is a bunch of garbage through here and you know what how many times I've walked through this little area I probably walked through this area about three four times 
and you will always continue to find stuff. Always. I'm walking in a different direction today. This is an old school. It used to be an older school on a different section. Oh, I can't quite see the date. But, um, yeah, so that's my harp. You know, either do it right or don't do it at all. You know, get yourself a trash bag. If you dig it, take it with you. If you can't take it with you, put it somewhere at least, you know, off the side so that other people in this hobby, and yourself included, don't come back and redig the same things. It's a greenie, but it looks like it's a 40 something. Huh. All right. No, it was a greenie until I washed it. It was coming in. Um, oh, I don't even remember what this was coming in. But, yeah, that's my right rant. Nothing could be sweeter in a 1930s school than an area that you've already hunted a couple times to hit a 46 conductive 45 conductive at about 5 inches nothing gets you going better than that well, unless it was 6 or 7 inches but there's a good 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 chance I've got silver here and that depth isn't very good for silver, but, you know, every place is a little different. Some places the silver is going to be deeper. Because when all you're finding is those shallow targets, and you find that little bit deeper one, like that weedy I got, was just a little bit deeper than all the other stuff I've been digging. And it wasn't even that deep. It was like four inches. That's sweet. You know, so what gets me is that people come through here and dig. And they don't take their trash with them. And, I mean, they're just basically littering the surface. Making it harder for the rest of us to find this stuff. Take the time to do it right. You know, I dig a lot of iffies just to find this one. But, and those iffies, you know usually are nails which come with me if I can get them.